hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made these buffalo check embroidery hoop ornaments so let me explain how you can get this yourself all you have to do is just go to my blog at ccdsmith.com and search for the buffalo check embroidery hoop ornaments and you'll find a tutorial along with the free files that you can download to upload to your cutting machine software Let's start and measure the hoop from the outer side to side, which is measures at three and a half inch. This will give me an idea on how big I should cut my fabric, which I usually add about an inch or an inch and a half. I also prefer to measure the inner of the hoop so that I have an idea of how big the image is going to be cut when I place it onto the fabric. So I'm already in design space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click upload and upload and then click browse and search for the file where you save the file mine is right here so i'm just going to click continue and right here you can name the file or you can even put a tag on it if you'd like i'm just going to click save click on the image and insert it and it's going to be placed onto your canvas There you go, I'm just going to resize it just for a better view. And as you can see the layers right here, there's a bunch of them and I'm going to ungroup it so this way I can go ahead and choose which one I would like to use. Oops, I'm just going to bring this down here so I can pick and choose which one I'd like to use. I'm just going to highlight this one and group it. Now I'm going to hide it, grab a shape as a reference, and I already know the inner size of the hoop, which is 3.1 for me. And let's go ahead and make this color a little bit lighter. Then grab the image. I'm going to change the color to red, just so I can see better. And what I'm going to do is, okay, see how I grabbed it and it's going behind the circle. Go ahead and go up to the top panel and click arrange and send the image to the front. And let's go ahead and resize that. Okay, and then I'm going to move it aside and do the next. See how it goes behind the shape. I'm going to arrange and then click and send it to the front. I'm going to change the color as well for better view. And if you don't like it this way, you can always uh, go to the top panel and flip it. Okay. All right, let's go to the next. I'm going to the snowflake and you can't see that as well. Let's just go ahead and go to arrange and send it to the front and resize. And I'm going to change the color of that as well. I think this is good for now, so you can either delete or hide the shape. Whichever you prefer is fine. And I'm just going to highlight this and just move it here for a better view. And what you can do is go ahead and click make it. And don't forget to click mirror because we are using HTV on this one. Then click continue. So onto the screen, I don't have many favorites on this as you can see, but I'm going to go ahead and click on browse all materials, type in iron on, and hit enter. It will give you a list of iron on settings I'm just going to click on the star as this is one of my favorites and then click done. And right here you can choose the pressure. You can go either more or less or just stay in default. So when you're preparing your mat, make sure that your HTV is shiny side down. Load the mat and then press start. Thank you. 
Once it's done cutting, just unload the mat and remove the HTV away from the mat so we can start to weed the unwanted vinyl. And here's a tip for you. I poke and weed from the top corner. This way I know this is the negative part I needed to remove first. Then place the hoop on top of the fabric, place the HTV, remove the hoop, and then press. I have my easy press on 315 for 30 seconds. Gently remove the carrier sheet away from the fabric. Unscrew the hoop to loosen and remove the inner circle. Then place the fabric on top of the smaller hoop. Then we're going to place the bigger hoop. Pull and adjust the fabric as needed. Once you're happy with the placement of the fabric, go ahead and tighten the screw on the hoop. Trim the excess fabric as needed. Now I'm just preparing the Christmas decorations that I'd like to use for this hoop ornament. And I got this from Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take my glue gun and start placing Christmas decorations on the hoop. You can use any decorations of your choice. Last but not least, add the twine to use to hang the ornament. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. And don't forget to grab that free file on my blog. I will link everything under the description box in case you needed it. You guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.